it started off with did you know that the train tracks in america are whatever the spacing is between them i don't can't remember the number there might have been a four in it and it said but did you know the reason for that is that when people came over from united kingdom to america they just built them to the same standard that they built they built them for before because that's that's what they did so that's why they were what they were so then you can go back a step but why are they what they are because it's a really odd sizing and the reason they are what they are is that when they were building the carriages to go on the trains, they used the same technology that they built carriages to go on the road. And that's the spacing they already built them for. So they built the railroad to match the spacing so they didn't have to build a whole new load of kit to build the carts or carriages to go on the train track. And the reason they built the carriages the way they were is because that is when the car- on the roads, there were tracks like indents where the carriage wheels went and if you built the carriages to be too small or too wide the wheels would buckle so they built them to match the linings that were on the road so that's why carriages were built and that became like a standard size the reason the car- the indents were in the road the reason they were like they were is because a lot of the major roads in england were built on top of the roman roads that were built in roman times and the roman roads had these indents in them from their carriages that went up and down the road so they wore in over time and it had just been built on top of it see joe i've got you this is good isn't it mm. is this where camber and comes from what's camber camber in in the roads oh Are they slant off well, I know. I think that was one of their things was for their road because it right. road because it, it ran the rain off. But this was more the the track marks that were in it, and the road right. new road got built on top of the old yeah. road and yeah, still yeah, had yeah. the indent. I've cut you off. Sorry. Yeah. No, 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 no. This is it's good. I like that you're engaged with my rumber ambles. And the reason the Roman carriages were the size they were is because it's effectively a carriage was made so that it can have two horses in front of it. Mm-hmm. So that sort of defined the size that defined the indents in the road that defined what the roads were that defined the carriages that defined railway carriages that defined railway space in the uk that defined railway space in america so to bring it back to now a recent space shuttle they were designing the propulsion like things on that sit on the bottom of it that all the fire and smoke and whatever comes out of you can tell i'm an engineer with the way i talk about this stuff and they wanted to build them a certain size the problem was that transporting them from where they were built to somewhere in florida when it's going to take off from they had to go through several tunnels that were cut in the size of the mountain from the trains which are the size they are because of blah, 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 blah. so they had to redesign these things so that they could fit through the train which they made work but it took a whole load of work to re-engineer it and they made it work so they could transport it in the kit fit with the tunnels the moral of the story is that on a rocket ship a modern one height of engineering height of technology height of everything else part of its design was based on the size of two horses arses from the roman times brilliant that's so good and i just i just love that i found it and again it may not all be 100 percent true but i really want it to be uh,